guys welcome back to my channel and to another video today we are going to talk about flowery perfumes if you are all about flowers in perfumery please stay with me and those will be the fragrances that you can use in warm spring and summer summer evenings they are perfect for that so if you are interested please stay with me and of course i would like you to subscribe to this channel leave a comment leave a like or dislike and okay let's start so um the first scent i will present you uh is from the brand i'm currently obsessed with and uh, i'm um, i'm particularly obsessed with uh the bottles of this brand first uh, scent i will have two from the same brand first scent is uh, wilhelm parfumery uh, ally look a day i have uh, a quite a big decant here so i'm very happy to have it and this is basically your beautiful beautiful lilac scent if you like lilac bushes how they smell you cannot go wrong with that that is for you exactly and first time when i was testing this fragrance i didn't think very much of it very highly of it i was like okay it's lilac scent you know i was associating the scent with um like body mists or something like this you know when you have this flowery body mist like rose maybe lilac uh, maybe jasmine they are usually uh, flat and nothing special However, of course, Wilhelm Parfumery is a niche house, so it had to be good. And I, I've been testing it lately, and I must admit I'm very, very impressed because we, of course, do have this lilac flower scent. However, we have also scent of leaves and stems, and this is like ray of sunshine beaming on the lilac tree. That is it very very beautiful very realistic so if you think like me that it is like just run-of-the-mill lilac scent turned into a body mist no absolutely not and i'm very very impressed how realistic this smell is i feel like i was standing under the lilac tree and you know just inhaling all the beautiful scent of it very 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 beautiful very sunny very spring associated scent you know so if you are craving for a spring if there is a cold day you are spraying a lilac a day and the day is much more beautiful very very stunning creation and i think um this green aspect the slightly bitter leafy aspect is um thanks to galbanum that we have in this scent galbanum gives it like the bitterness of the greenery surrounding the lilac bush very very beautiful uh, those perfumes are very expensive however if you are not a fragrance hoarder as me and you want to save your coins to have perfect lilac bush scent i think this one will be worth it you won't be disappointed it is also at the same time clean and flowery and very very sunny very uplifting and beautiful so that is it and another one from Wilhelm Parfumerie, and um, I brought it home yesterday, and it is a bottle, actually, 100 ml. However, I managed to snag, uh, like, remnants of the scent in a bottle, like, around 20 ml. Uh, and, and this one, because, you know, I was obsessed with those, uh, with those bottles, and I craved to have one for myself, and I managed to find an offer uh, for this, you know remaining amount of perfume in um, in a bottle and i have it it's fleur burlesque very beautiful like old school vintagey crystal glass very very nice i love the concept of the brand and you know in general those bottles are to, are to die for and i have here fleur burlesque and basically it's jasmine and gardenia if you do not like, like if you do not like white flowers like jasmine and gardenia don't go for that it is also very similar for me to giorgio beverly hills this classic version however this one is more refined i'm wearing it today it projects like crazy it's very strong it's very elegant as well very refined the juice is oily so it projects projects like crazy very elegant also uplifting sunny vintagey smell very very beautiful and very unusual if you didn't like Giorgio Beverly Hills I once had a bottle and I got rid of it because I didn't quite like uh, the dry down if you are like me you will like Fleur Burlesque because it's much much better than Giorgio Beverly Hills it's like upgraded version like you know this elegant like true 
high quality older sister of Giorgio Beverly Hills. Very, very beautiful. Um, it is not that, you know, suffocating as, as some of the white flowery scents can be. Very elegant, very fine, and it has magnetic cap. It's amazing. It's it's so beautiful. I'm very happy to have this bottle. And I also have a card a cardboard, you know, the box, the original box from this scent. So I'm very, very happy to have it. So Fleur Burlesque from Wilhelm Parfumery. And another scent, we are going to Jasmine now. And the Jasmine of the type I really, really love. So that is Indolic Jasmine. That is Jasmine that is very dark and mysterious. And it is none other than Mikalev Glamour, very, very beautiful. And as you know, uh, it is widely compared to Alien from Muggler and especially Alien from the older days, from the older formulation. And I, of course, agree with that. It's much, much better than Alien. So I would uh, honestly save up for this one and buy Mikalev Glamour instead of Alien because Alien now is a joke when it comes to performance and it's very very soapy on me so I say no to Alien but this one is amazing because you have this dark uh, dark enveloping jasmine and uh, you have also some kind of spices in here so it's very very beautiful very narcotic it can be headache inducing so you need to watch out if you had a migraine using, you know, Alien from Muggler, it won't be for you because the DNA is obvious here. It is just a better Alien uh, from Muggler. So yeah, narcotic, indolic jasmine. I love, absolutely love Mikalev Glamour. Uh, so that was it. Another one, and this one will be a cheap one. Uh, I was mentioning about this uh, fragrance in on my channel already. Already, It is Fifth Avenue from Elizabeth Arden. And especially if you like linden flowers, that will be for you. It is an elegant, uplifting, sunny scent, a very bright. So if you like the scents like J'adore from Dior or you like Gabrielle Chanel, but you do not have a budget, I will go for that. And mainly I would go for that as well because um, Chanel Gabrielle has a terrible performance on me and not only on me, I know that many people told me that it doesn't have a great performance on, on their skin either. So it is, you know, for that price, I could not pay this amount of money. I'm sorry. And J'adore is for me slightly basic. You know, I know that there are many people who love J'adore. And of course, you can wear what you want. However, I would prefer Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue over uh, J'adore. So this one is very, very nice, very like spring, summer appropriate. Actually, it's perfect for the whole year round. Very, very beautiful, very elegant, slightly soapy, uplifting, very, very classic, very, very classy. I have 30 ml and I'm very, very happy with that. So that is Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue. Another scent that I really like. It's Molinard Heliotrope. And basically Molinard is a niche house with quite affordable prices. So if you are looking for like this flowery perfumes, I think this one is a classic house and you can uh, easily go for that. I have 10 ml decant of Heliotrope because I love uh, powdery flowers and Heliotrope is powdery flower. It is very, very nice, very refined, very clean. And it is not only like powdery, you know, you don't, don't think about the scent like Ton de Neige from Lawrence of Villoresi. It's not that. Of course, uh, Ton de Neige has uh, addition of heliotrope to make it even more powdery. It's a powder bomb, actually. But this one, uh, you can feel the powderiness of the flower, cleanliness, but also slightly, um, it is slightly also green. So if you like this flowery green scent, but only slightly green, you know, don't think it's very, very green, nothing like that, but it's like a uh, flower when you can feel, again, the leaves in the background, you know, this, this is the vibe. Very, very beautiful for powdery scents lovers. I think you cannot go wrong with that. It has very, very decent price, so you can search for it if you like such fragrances. Another fragrance is from Ennui Nomad and it's Fleur de Fleurs. And basically it's an ode to Jasmine. If you like jasmine scents, but uh, on the other side of the spectrum, 
uh, other than Mikalev Glamour and Alien, because those are like this nighttime dark jasmine. If you want jasmine that is more sunny, more uplifting, I think uh, Fleur de Fleurs will be for you. This jasmine is sunny, is uplifting, as I said, and it's very, very refined. It's, it's like an air of jasmine around you, which is not indolic, not heavy, not headache inducing. If you are looking for bright, airy jasmine scent, I think Fleur de Fleurs will be for you. Very, very elegant, very beautiful. And uh, I'm affiliate with Anui Nomad. So if you're interested with this scent, I have described or any other scent, uh, you can go and click in the link um, in the description and just buy through my recommendation but of course uh it's it is not that you have to do it of course uh another scent uh, which i absolutely love from the brand i love i'm obsessed with absolutely uh is uh, carner barcelona and carner barcelona actually has this flowery collection um and i have one of these scents as you may know uh besos it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and here if you are looking for uh, an iris that is done in very clean and powdery way not the way that it's lipsticky because i do not like scents with like powder with like lipsticky iris i do not like them but if you are like me you like clean laundry scents powdery scents this one will be for you very very beautiful very clean uh very cozy as well I told you about the scent already in my obsessions videos video i love i absolutely love it besos is perfect for spring and summer basically whole year round very comfortable uh very calming very elegant very refined i absolutely love this creation i'm so happy to have it in my collection you know i just went for a binge buy <laughs> i i was buying like crazy um lately carner barcelona i mean i have besos i have two bottles bottles of tardes and i have amber the sir that i was uh, that i received from the brand but any other scent i bought myself because i love it so much besos absolutely beautiful creation for iris lovers i mean like powdery iris lovers and we have to another creations from Carner Barcelona when it comes to this flowery, um, flowery series. Uh, Sweet William, I have a sample. I have a sample here. If you like Ylang Ylang, if you like cinnamon, if you like rose water and iris as well, I think this scent will be for you. Basically, this one smells like um, spiced flowers, you know. If you like flowery scent, with added cinnamon, with added some spices, I think it's this. This will be for you. I remember that this one, Sweet William, was uh, on the second place, just after Besos. So I think it is, of course, stronger than Besos. I mean, Besos la lasts a very long time, but Besos compared to Sweet William is more airy, more like laundry scent. And this one, Sweet William, is more for your like night going out something like that, more formal occasion. Of course, you can wear Besos for that occasion as well, but I mean, this one is more like straight up flowery with added some, uh, with, with some spiciness to it, you know? So in the top notes, actually, we have white pepper, cardamom, Laotian cinnamon bark, and galangal. So yeah, we have lots of spices at the top. And hard notes, we have um, ylang ylang, rose water extract, and tobacco flowers. So it is quite unusual, flowery, uh, peppery, very, very nice, very interesting, like different take on flower. You may want to check it out if you like how it sounds. Another, another one from the brand is Dansatoria, and this one is white flowery. Uh, in the top notes, we have pink pepper, ylang ylang, uh, pimiento berry, heart notes, muge, Spanish orange flower, Indian jasmine sambac, and the base notes, we have patchouli, musk, and vanilla. So yeah, basically this one is spicy as well, Flower flowery spicy. However, this spiciness comes from like those green, um, green, oh my God, green, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the word oh my god from the greenness you know from the greenery we can say it like that and on my skin i couldn't help but to feel 
that it pulls like slightly like Gloria Vanderbilt EDT. I do not know. On the paper, it smells completely different, but on my skin, I couldn't escape this association. I don't know. As you know, you need to test everything on yourself. Each skin uh, translates a scent differently. So maybe on my skin, it pulls like slightly like Gloria Vanderbilt, but all in all, I very, very appreciate those scents and I recommend you try it. Okay, another one is Gloria Vanderbilt EDT and this one is a yellow flower bomb, slightly vintagey, so you need to like mm, those, you know, vintagey flowery scents, but all in all it's very, very nice, very nostalgic for me as well, very, very cheap, so if you like this vintage flowers, I think this one might be for you. Another flowery scent and we are going in the direction of tuberose and this is like iconic tuberose already. Uh, it's Frederick Mall Carnal Flower. I got this 10 ml decan from my uh, lovely viewers, so thank you very much. I appreciate it so much because one time um, I was thinking to myself, oh, it would be so good to smell Carnal Flower from Frederick Mall because I was, I used to have um, this tuberose obsession. I loved everything with the note. I still love it, I still like it, but not as much as it was back in the day. And I got to know this fragrance a while ago and not so long ago I received this 10 ml decan, so I'm very, very happy with that. And this one is very realistic tuberose, so it is not only creamy, not only fleshy, it is quite indolic, but also it is green. It has also this mentholated aspect to it, uh, so you need you would basically need to like this uh, white flowery scent with mentholated aspect But I really really love it. It's potent. It is nice I really recommend you try it if you like this tuberose note. Another scent is Akakapa Tilia Cordata and basically if you love linden flower smell This scent will be for you. Uh, Akakapa is uh, Italian brand so especially if you're from Italy uh, you may want to check it out. Um, I know that it is sold out currently in Poland, so a pity because it's very, very beautiful spring summery scent. But if you have a chance, if you love linden flower like those realistic ones, uh, which is like honeyed, which is green, it will be for you definitely. So that was it. Another beautiful, beautiful, stunning, flowery scent. This is like flowery nectar. Slightly dark, but still flowery. It is Zoologist Hummingbird. This one is absolutely beautiful. I know that Zoologist raised their prices uh, like significantly. So for me, it's a bummer because I was, uh, I wanted to add this fragrance to my collection. However, I not right now I need to wait and I do not know if there is a point. I have so many fragrances that, I'd, you know, it would be only a taking, you know, it will be uh, carrying the dust on my shelf anyways, but it is still beautiful and for me this is like this narcotic flower nectar uh, with added like this dark twist. For me it's like flowers from the Victorian times, very very beautiful, very mysterious as well, at least on my skin, at least for me, very very unusual. I highly recommend you try it. Another flowery scent is uh, Flora Botanica from Balenciaga and of course if you know Flora Botanica it is a rose scent. It is very wet dewy rose and with you know the air, the cold air after the rain evaporating ar around the flower. Very very beautiful, very niche so if you like it uh, if you like rose, unusual rose in perfumes, I think this one will be for you. Very, very beautiful and for me it's a crime they have discontinued this beauty. But that is it, what can we do? Uh, another scent, I will just mention it briefly, if you like contemporary tuberose, you may want to check out Givenchy L'Interdit. I think it's a classic right now um, already and it's like this uh, strawberry white flowery scent. It has this bubble gummy tuberose in it, so very, very beautiful for me, very creamy, uh, very uh, also feminine. So if you like 
uh, how it sounds you may want to check it out if you do not know it already I know many people knows it already another scent which is absolutely beautiful and I received it from the brand so thank you very much I really love this creation already it's Tomavici Empyrean and I know that some of the youtubers already were talking about it I think this brand will be like more and more popular I think uh, so Empyrean is a rose but it is spice rose it is musky rose and I cannot help but to feel uh, Delina from Parfums de Mali DNA in it however on me Delina pulls to sour it is a very potent fragrance when it comes to Delina very very long lasting however on me it pulls too sour too harsh too strong even though it's very very beautiful but here everything is more refined for me at least of course on my skin uh, it is slightly oriental as well it is spiced up rose with musky base and it has also bakor uh, in a base, uh, which is like an incense, I think, a fragrance that you, uh, you know, that you scent your hair, your clothes with. So very, very like Middle, Middle Eastern, very, very beautiful, very refined. I was wearing it the other day on my walk and it was very, very sunny, beautiful spring, you know, spring atmosphere around me and it was wafting just beautifully it is uh, not that strong but it's very very present around you actually for the whole day so uh, the lasting power is very very good and look at this bottle it is absolutely beautiful uh like uh, you know this royal um royal thing i don't know royal flask or something like that very very beautiful cheaper than delina i believe so you may want to try it it is more balanced more refined for me at least of course because i know delina is loved by many people however for me it's too harsh sometimes so you may want to try empyrean from tomavici so thank you again for this beautiful gift uh, another one is a tuberose again and it's fraca from robert piguet and it's it is like classic tuberose you know tuberose lovers turns turned vintage it is vintagey tuberose quite soapy we have also uh peach here so if you like this peachy tuberose idea it might be for you uh however for me it is not that strong as people say for some people it's very very like it doesn't smell good that's what i wanted to say but for me uh, it is like tuberose soap it has very very long uh ingredients list you know it is very very um, vintagey created in the 50s or 40s i believe by germain Cellier. Uh, very very nice very as i said vintagey oh my god i'm repeating myself at this point so it is a classic uh chanel number no. five is a classic aldehydic fragrance and fraca is classic tuberose fragrance and i think uh, many perfumers even now are inspired by this creation so this is quite iconic at this point uh, all right and the last two uh, I have 10 ml decant here, it's Versace Vanitas and if you like white flowers but they are, that are more cold and summer appropriate like day to day wear appropriate I think this one will be for you I do not know if, if it's not discontinued already however if you have a chance if you like the sound of it you may want to check it out as well uh, it is like uh, sunny white flowers turned quite cold you know they are cold uh, white flowers on the marble floor something like that very elegant very refined slightly citrusy as well very very clean white flowery uh citrusy fragrance very very nice um, and not many people is talking about it so i thought i will mention it here and the last scent i do not have it but i know how it smells i've been testing it recently it's zara and it's fleur d'oranger basically if you like uh, orange flower smell it will be for you if you do not know how orange flower smells it smells very similar for me at least to Killian love don't be shy but that one is uh, much sweeter uh, here in fleur d'oranger we have like this typical orange flower it is slightly creamy very sunny very uplifting if you like orange flower smell this will be for you okay so that that was it for today let me know what are your flowery perfume for spring and summer. I hope you enjoyed this video today and thank you very much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.